situated on the Blackwood River. Wyatt Brook was named after an Aboriginal word, but it's unclear whether the word meant place of big stones or place of smoke. Boyup remains a small, quiet service centre for the surrounding farms. The town itself is a bit confusing, as it appears to have just grown without much thought of town planning. The streets are quite higgledy-piggledy, and it can be a bit difficult to get a grip on for the first-time visitor. The town is known as the country music capital of WA, as it hosts the largest festival of its type in the state. The festival usually takes place on the third weekend in February at the Harvey Dixon Country Music and Rodeo Centre, just five kilometres from town. On private property not far from town, there is believed to be the largest grapevine in Australia, but as it is on private property, it's not always available for tourists to look at. The vine is said to have come from Bridgetown in the form of a switch used to gee horses up. It ended up being planted and has now been growing for well over a hundred years. It's on a farm about eight kilometres from town, and permission to view it can be obtained from the visitor centre. Nearby, in the tiny hamlet of Dinanup, was one of the most exceptional collections of teapots you could imagine. It used to be housed in the home of Robin and Barley Jones, but sadly, Barley Jones passed away in 2019 but the collection has now been moved to the Quacking Frog Teapot Shed in Boyup Brook. The area was first explored by Europeans when Augustus C. Gregory visited the area in 1845. It was first settled in 1854 by Commander Scott, who built a homestead at Scott's Brook, south of town. Next came James George Lestier, in 1861. He took up land near the Blackwood River. In 1871, William Forrest also took up land here. The town's development can be traced to the formation of the Upper Blackwood Progress Committee by local farmers in 1899. Their aim was to, quote, advance the interests of this rising and important district. With an eye to the main game, the committee proposed the town be named Throssel. The proposal was sent to the Minister for Lands, who was, wait for it, George Throssel. Sucky sucky. Despite this obvious brown nosing, the town site was not immediately accepted, but the committee persisted, and the town site was gazetted in 1900 as Boyup. In 1909, the town became Boyup Brook. To avoid confusion with Boyan Up. Early development started with the building of a school in 1900, and then by 1909 the railway to Donnybrook was completed. Timber mills started up in the area prior to World War II, and some continued to operate until the 1980s. A flax mill operated from 1940 to 1965. Flax material was used to make linen, upholstery and canvas, and these materials were in high demand during World War II. The site where the flax mill once stood is now the site of the town caravan park. Travellers in caravans and motorhomes can collect fresh water here, free of charge. If you're looking for accommodation in town for your motorhome or caravan, the local caravan park is very good. But apart from that, there are some excellent free campsites in the Shire. These include Trigwell Bridge. This is on the boundary of the Shire of West Arthur. The bridge spans the Blackwood River and there is a picnic table available at the site. There is river access to a large pool, but swimming is not permitted due to underwater snags. There is also Yulin Crossing. This is a particularly nice campsite. It has a picnic table also, and there are launching facilities for canoes and kayaks. There is a very large pool in the river here that stretches for several kilometres.
Quirrajup Pool is another area. This is off Scottsbrook Road. It's an open wooded site on a hillside sloping down to the brook. It's a little harder at this campsite to find level ground. There's also Tone Bridge. This can be reached from the Boyupbrook Cranbrook Road. There's a picnic area, a barbecue, toilet and shelter. Mosquitoes can be a bit of a problem at this site, so make sure to take plenty of repellent with you if you're staying overnight. The final campsite is Jay's Bridge. This is the site of the old Jay's Hall. It was built in 1895, but unfortunately was destroyed by fire in 1950. The hall was the first public building in the Upper Blackwood district. This is a very large open area with some shade next to the river and there is a toilet available. There are also signs around the site giving information on the local flora and fauna.